Hello all, very happy to announce that I'm going to be sharing the Reflex Survival Shelter that I designed. I came up with a design for a shelter that I have been teaching my students and using in very low temperatures and throughout my Canadian winters and summers. So this is a proven shelter, but there's a couple upgrades that I wanted to add to it. So, I put those in this design, and I'm going to share that with you today. So, I had talked to Brian at Two Go Systems. As you see, it has my Maritime Wilderness Skills logo, and Two Go Systems. He is manufacturing these, and I'm going to leave a link where you can check them out on his website. He'll be able to provide them to you all so you can carry one of these in a kit for survival or just for camping. That's the beauty of this. Very small, it's loosely packed in this. It's a uh, foot long, I believe, by five inches round, and it, it is loosely packed. I like that. I don't like a bag that I have to fight to get it back in. So this here is a Tyvek material. And I have used To Go Systems Poncho and Trifecta Bivy. I've used them for years and they held up. That's why I reached out to him because this fabric is a very good fabric. And there's a couple things that it had that I wanted in the shelter. If you notice, the other side of this fabric is reflective. So... The shelter is reflective. You can also see that it has tie out points that are stitched in really well. I'm not going to get into specs, but this is a huge tarp and it has a lot of tie outs for a lot of versatility for setups. So what my plan is, is I'm going to set up a bunch of different shelters and just show you some simple setups. I'm not going to go over how I've done them. I'm just going to show you some uh, teasers on the setups. But first off, what this provides is a huge survival blanket that you can actually wrap around you and stay warm. So that is your first type of shelter right there. It gives you a huge amount of shelter to stay out of the rain or to stay warm because it is reflective. That there, it's blocking the wind right now, and it has the reflective qualities. So this is the first shelter design. So I teach a classic lean-to. It's simple, it's effective, and it has taken me down to very low temperatures, like I mentioned, and in many storms I've stayed dry. So it's a proven shelter. The way to upgrade that would be to add walls. Then you stop any blowing rain from the sides and wind. Now, I added walls to this design and then I added a reflective quality. I can put a long fire out front, the heat's going to come up, roll here and right down onto you. Now you see also I have lots of room. That's the bed there. I've got room for gear. I can sleep here easy enough. And I have lots and lots of room. I can drop this down. If I drop down the front, it just means my sides are going to go out more. If I raise them up, 
I can put the side straight in, creating a four foot height that I can just sit in underneath here and have a tea or whichever I would like, cook myself a meal and so on, I can actually sit up in it. But as you see right here, I could still sit up in it, but I'd want it a little higher just so I could sit back more if it was raining. But this provides a lot of room. So this here is a plow point design, provides a lot of room. This here is another design that provides a lot of room. A lot of people like the plow point design. This is a variation of that. Got lots of room down below. I can put gear as well. But what I like about this, you can sit right up in here and block rain. The only way rain's gonna get in here is either if it's just coming this direction, blowing directly in. Otherwise, you're blocked all the way around. Very nice, very nice shelter. You can have a little fire out there. You can still heat yourself from head to toe, even in this shelter. This shelter here gives you a lot of room. Now, if I would take this shelter and stuff it full of leaves and then crawl right inside this, having a leaf bed underneath me and leaves surrounding me, of course, leaving a little bit of ventilation, which you do have anyhow, but you always should leave ventilation. This here could be a really good squirrel nest going to also protect you from the rain, the wind. It's just another type of a pup tent style that you can just crawl right in. <laughs> Hard to get a good view, but I have a lot of room. I'm going to show you the other end. I have that closed off as well. So I can close this one just by taking it, folding it over like this, and either hooking it on a stick here and then I have an air hole. Many ideas that you can use. You see how the tie out tabs are sewn in. Very well done. A Prusik and a toggle makes short work. <laughs> Same thing here with the stakes, just put a toggle. So this here is just a quick few setups that take very little time. This here is a shelter that is simple and effective and if you practice your setups, you can set it up very quickly. That can be a lifesaver. So this is the first look at the Reflex Survival Shelter slash Camping Shelter because you can use this camping as well as for survival. Thanks for watching, take care, and happy holidays and all the best.